chivalry is dead, and I will revive it. On the desolate frontier of Munion, the border with Ajelta, there was an ordinary town. The residents here lived a peaceful and stable life away from the hustle and bustle of human society. They worked during the day, and at night they go to the tavern in the town for a few drinks to relax. Such an orderly and stable life was all due to Clint, the sheriff of the town. Clint was a famous fast gunner, with unmatched good marksmanship and was known for his fastest speed of drawing gun. The dutiful Clint always took maintaining the security of the town as his duty. He loved his job and duty, and believed in the fairness and justice of the law. He hated evil as his enemy, and had been protecting the town from all kinds of robbers and bandits for many years. Therefore, he was loved by the residents of the town. On an ordinary night, Clint went on his daily patrol with his gun as usual. In the middle of his patrol, he suddenly heard the gunshots and disgusting shouts from the tavern. Clint knew instinctively that a group of uninvited guests broke into the peaceful town. Clint immediately rushed to the tavern where a group of weirdly dressed drunkards were smashing wildly. Many residents were beaten to death by them, while the owner of the tavern was shot and killed by the gangster leader. In the face of Clint's warning, the gangsters were not frightened. But blatantly declared that the town would soon be taken over by them, and advised Clint not to meddle. Chivalry is dead, and I will revive it. What the gangsters did angered Clint, so he drew out his gun and fought a fierce battle with them. Finally, except for a minion who escaped by chance. The rest of the gangsters were either killed by Clint's gun or lost their combat effectiveness and were captured without any resistance. At noon the next day, Clint took the captured villains to the center of the town preparing to give the criminals a just punishment under the witness of all the residents. The angry people also demanded the severe punishment of these outsiders. But just then, the villain leader suddenly revealed his identity, he was Blandy, the nephew of Waldo Kane. The most powerful boss in Los Picados. His men had fled back to Los Picados last night to deliver a message that if anything happened to him, his uncle would definitely raise this small town, and everyone would be buried with him. Blandy had just finished his words. The angry crowd suddenly quieted down. They knew the city of Sin and Waldo Kane, and they knew their ways of doing things better. Soon, the residents wavered. They advocated the release of Blandy and hoped that Blandy would forget his unpleasant experience in the town. In the eyes of Clint, who hated evil most, it was nothing more than a compromise to criminals and trampling on justice. Regardless of residents' opposition, he threw Blandy into prison and announced that he would hang him three days later to comfort the tavern owner who had been shot by him. After no more than three days, a large number of gangsters had come to the outskirts of the town. They brought lots of weapons, demanding that the residents immediately hand over Blandy, and offer a large ransom to apologize. The safety of the town was greatly threatened by those criminals. Clint came out boldly and called on everyone to take up arms to fight back the gangs and defend their homeland. 
But what Clint didn't expect was that the residents and colleagues he had tried to protect in the past did not intend to live and die with him. Instead, they blamed Clint for his stubbornness and inflexibility, which brought disaster to the town. After a hasty vote, the residents relieved Clint of his post as sheriff and drove him out of town. Chivalry is dead, and I will revive it. The residents then released Blandy and handed in a large ransom. But even so, the ferocious Blandy still chose the treachery, leading the gangs to occupy the town, and preparing to burn the town. By this time, Clint had carried his bags and walked far out of the town. However, when the fire in the small town was soaring into the sky, Clint could not ignore it. Even if those people he had protected with his life and blood betrayed him, the law of justice in his mind could not be erased by this, let alone standing by and watching the gangsters slaughtering the town. Even if he was alone, Clint would fight crime to the end. At the time when the gangsters were unscrupulously destroying the town, Clint appeared in the town as if a soldier came from heaven. His invincible marksmanship and amazing speed of drawing gun became the most terrible nightmare of criminals on this night. After a fierce battle, Clint was scarred, and the gangsters also suffered heavy casualties, protecting Blandy, who was wounded by Clint, to escape. The survived residents realized their mistakes and begged Clint for forgiveness, hoping that Clint would stay and protect the town. But Clint only smiled and didn't answer. That night, Clint rode on his old donkey, left the town quietly, and set foot on the road to the city of Sin. There's a shiny new sheriff in town. He knew that even if he wouldn't go to find Kane, Kane would come to find him. 